Jump is a powerful and interactive data visualization and statistical analysis tool. You can use Jump to learn more about your data by performing analysis and interacting with the data using data tables, graphs, charts, and reports. So when you launch the Jump software, this is the typical interface and it starts with this dialog box called the tip of the day. And you see here that it's tip 70 of 79. So you can go to like the next tip and you can see what it's trying to tell you to do. And you can always have that. You can also uncheck the box so that you don't see it again at startup and then just hit close and then you can have that. This is a standard interface of your Jump software and it's simple and very easy to use. If you come to the menu tab, for instance, you have file. So on the file, there's new, you can open like new data tables and then the data table interface opens. You can come in and the other options to open. And then you can also go to open where you can open any of the files that you've saved. There's quick open. You can also import multiple files. Then you have the, the regular save, save as, all that that we have, publish, you have your databases, and you can also come into preferences. So preferences is pretty much a lot in Jump because Jump can do so much that you always have to customize it to your desire. So for instance, if you come to general, you see here that you have show tip of the day at startup, so you can uncheck that initial splash then also you have the initial jump window so you can just come in and just uncheck and check whichever one that you want come to project come to report and then just play with all these tools so like the menu bar and then you have all that here where you can just check and uncheck and customize the whole interface as you desire and then just close out so that is for file and then the regular stuff right and with the regular shortcuts as well and then you can come into table so remember that i came into a table down here um if you go to like table this one opens so this is like a jump table so this tab helps you to edit this table or customize it and use it accordingly so the difference between jump and excel is excel is a spreadsheet jump is a table actually so you can really have that much flexibility but you understand more when we get into other lectures so you just come in and just play with your table you can have a summary you can have a subset you can have sort stack split transpose join update and you can have all of that under the table tab as well. Then the next one is DOE. So as, as many people do design of experiment, this is the tab that you can come in and just customize your design and just click that. And then you can have your DOE dialog box launched and you can put in your own DOE here. There's also augment designs, which will go through them as well. And then you have all these definitive screening, you have classical, you have design diagnostics, you have consumer studies, and you have all these stuff in here. Then you also have the analysis tab. So this is where you do your statistical analysis, like distribution, you can fit, you can do tabulate, you can have text explorer, you can fit a model. You can do predictive modeling. So you have many of these models already inbuilt for you and we'll go through them as well. Then you have also specialized modeling. So like nonlinear care fitting, Gaussian processes, time series, and then you have screening. So all these side is for your analysis. That's for this tab. And then you also come to the graph side. One of the major advantages of using Jump is it's very interactive. It's, it's super interactive. This is also the tab for you to make your bubble plot, your scatter plot, to build your own graph, have your surface plot profilers, contour profilers. So you have all these options in here as well. And then you have the tools. So on the tools, once you have a plot or a graph, 
these are some of the tools that you can use like a scroller just to scroll down you can have like a brush a magnifier crosshair you can put a ruler you can annotate and just put a text on your graph you can put these shapes on there as well and then you have view so on view um, that is just for the view so the ones that are checked you have your home and then you have your status bar you can just add any of these tabs as well and it will, it will help you to view then you have your windows button where you can do your regular new data view arrange combine windows and all that oh, and then your help you have all your help here as well also you can right click in this area and you can see that you have your analysis tab being blown out so like on this tab you have your analysis tab like fit remember we had fit to y distribution so you see distribution fit to y because when you right click is checked but you can add one for let's say graph if you know you're going to use graph a lot you can have it for that you can have it for tables you can have it for doe so you can add these tabs and customize them accordingly as well